In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the attribute agreement analysis. Suppose that you want to evaluate whether the agents in your team classify correctly a request from a customer as either valid or invalid. In this particular example, you will have to assess binary data because there are only two possible responses. While, if you want to evaluate how well the agents classify the complexity of the request received from the customer, you will have to assess ordinal data because there are more than two possible responses and they have a order low, medium and high. Or another example is if you want to evaluate whether the agents choose the correct taxonomy during the data entry. In this situation you will have to assess nominal data because there are more than two possible responses but there is no order. In this tutorial, I will walk through the steps in Minitab to conduct an attribute agreement analysis for binary data. Let's start with this scenario. You want to evaluate the agents in your team in order to understand if they are classifying correctly the requests received from the customers. Each request can be classified as either valid or invalid. You are not sure that all the agents would classify the requests the same. How can you evaluate the responses? An attribute agreement analysis can help us understand and ensure the consistency and correctness of the agent's responses. So, let's see the method to conduct an attribute agreement analysis for binary data. You need to select a minimum of 50 items from the process. For our scenario, we need 50 different requests received from various customers and each request will have a unique identifier. Then you need to identify four agents for the study. Then you need to have each agent assess the items and for our scenario they need to determine whether or not they are valid or invalid. Then you will collect the answers and consolidate the information into a table. And the last step is to repeat the study after some weeks and ask the same agents to assess again the items. If you decide to consolidate the data into a table that contains all the appraisers in one column, you should get a similar table, where the first column contains the data, the second column the appraiser's name, the third column the item evaluated, then the appraiser's response and the standard. The standard is the correct answer. If you scroll down the table, we can see that we have the second appraiser and so on. After two weeks, after repeating the study, you will append the data to the table. So, let's recapitulate. You gather the data from the first study and then, after two weeks, you repeat the study with the same items and agents. The fact that the agents will answer the same questions twice will give you the opportunity to examine the consistency in the responses. This is called within appraiser agreement. Once you will run the analysis in Minitab, you will get an output like this where we can see that Mike, for example, classified all the requests consistently, while the other three agents were consistent most of the time. Minitab provides us as well with an analysis about the consistency among all the agents, which is called Between Appraisers Agreement. Looking at the Minitab output, we can see that all the agents agreed on 76% of the items. So far we have seen that thanks to the within and between appraisers agreement, we can learn if the responses are consistent. But what about the correctness of the responses? Minitab can provide us with an assessment agreement for each appraiser versus the standard showing how often each appraiser classified the items correctly. 
Looking at the outputs, we can see the percentage of the time each appraiser was correct. Let's take the example for Mike. In the Within Appraiser Agreement, Mike classified all the requests with the same consistency during the two studies. However, it was correct only 92% of the time, which means that some requests were classified incorrectly. But what about the accuracy? Can we know how many requests have been classified incorrectly? Minitab offers an assessment disagreement that shows the number of times an appraiser classified a request as valid, while the request should have been classified as invalid, and vice versa. While the mixed column means that the assessments across the studies are not identical. So, so far we have seen the within appraisers analysis, the between appraisers analysis, the appraiser versus the standard, showing an assessment of agreement and disagreement. The last analysis is the all appraisers versus the standard. In the table, we can see that the agents provided correct classification of the requests 76% of the time, with the 95% confidence interval between 62% and 87%. Now, let's see how to perform this analysis in Minitab. So in Minitab, we can see that we have the data in this worksheet, and in order to run the analysis, we click on Stat, Quality Tools, Attribute Agreement Analysis. In the Attribute column, we enter the appraiser's responses. So we click on the column C4 Appraiser Response. The samples is related to the column that contains the items that have been evaluated by the agents. So we click on Item Evaluated. In the field Appraisers, it's related to the name of the appraisers. So we click on Appraiser Name. And considering that for the study we have a standard, a correct answer, we enter the standard in this field. When you click OK, Minitab shows a graphical representation of the within appraisers and appraiser versus the standard. The within appraisers shows consistency of the agent's responses within the 95% confidence interval. The 95% confidence interval provides a likely range of values containing the true percent agreement for each of the appraisers. We can see that Mike classified the request in the same way in the two studies, while Denise, John and Paul classified some of the requests differently. While the appraiser versus the standard shows how often each agent classify the items correctly. So, looking at the example that we discussed before about Mike, we can see that Mike gave the same answers during the two studies and he had a 100% agreement, while in the appraiser versus the standard, so when we compare his answers with the correct answer, he was correct only 92% of the times. So, he misclassified some requests. While all the outputs that we discussed in this tutorial are showed in the session window. We can see that we have on the top the within appraisers analysis, each appraiser versus the standard, the between appraisers, and all appraisers versus the standard. I will discuss in other tutorials how to conduct an attribute agreement analysis for nominal data and an attribute agreement analysis for ordinal data.